dryers, which will be distributed strategically to various NCPB depots nationwide with the aim of serving maize farmers as well as cereal farmers at subsidized and highly affordable rates. I know, for example, that farmers have been spending um, anywhere between about 60 shillings per 90 kilogram uh, bag of maize and, and thereabout. We are proposing that this year, Government of Kenya is going to meet half the bill for drying. Again, this is our strategy to make sure that we eliminate post-harvest losses. As we all know, we have seen farmers trying to dry their produce in all manner of ways, on roadsides, along the roads, in all manner of places. I want to tell our farmers that the government of Kenya is not only going to provide the facilities for them to do the drying, but we are going to meet half the cost of drying so that we minimize on the almost 20, 30 percent losses that we, um, that, that normally uh, we lose because of um, management of the post-harvest uh, uh, challenges. Um, we are also doing this because um, the weathermen are telling us that there, must, there might be some uh, El Nino rains further down the road, and we want to make sure that the El Nino rains do not disrupt our production. Just as we have maximized farmers' comfort by eliminating middlemen, brokers, conmen and intermediaries in the distribution of inputs through ICT, we are also maximizing farmer returns from their produce by likewise removing brokers, middlemen and others, as well as other perennial marketing challenges related to cereals and pulses. To this end, we shall implement the Warehouse Receipt System Act of 2019 which has never been implemented, which establishes a structured and well-regulated trading system for agricultural commodities. This system creates an ecosystem with opportunities for the private sector and National Cereals and Produce Board to provide a trading platform that links buyers and sellers and facilitates access to credit by agricultural producers. The warehouse receipt system also supports the reduction of post-harvest losses and cushions farmers against low farm gate prices. Again, the minister has clarity on how he's going to work with the private sector to make sure that we make the capacities within National Cereals and Produce Board and other government entities available for the private sector to work with us to make sure that we eliminate uh, drop in prices that significantly affects farmers, but also we provide storage and other capabilities under, under trading mechanism that is fair both to the consumer but also fair to our farmers. We are increasing the budget again as an intervention.